they were in some form or fashion a rookie for five years. And so it seemed like the fifth season would be a good place to say, did they get what they wanted? Are they the cop they thought they'd be? Are they the person they thought they'd be? And the answer is yes and no at the same time. Life is not a fairy tale is, is the reality we're dropped into uh, right at the beginning of this season. We pick up right where the last season left off. Is everything okay? I don't know. There's no time for imaging. We need to get the bleeding under control first. It's major surgery. We're doing our best, but he's lost a lot of blood. We jump back in, back at the hospital. Everything that seemed at the beginning of that day, like a totally normal day, has been tossed up in the air. It's obviously extremely difficult to navigate what has happened with Sam while she's been with Nick. She has some pretty tough decisions to make in terms of that because she loves both of them. I ended up telling him that I still loved him. Do you? In the heat of the moment, she was really afraid of losing Sam and she has to make a decision whether she's going to stay with Nick. They make a great partnership or she just goes right for Sam, which is risky. The place looks different somehow. Well, maybe it's you. Andy McNally is just like, it's a once in many lifetimes connection. In order for these two characters to work together, they're gonna have to change. We've tried over and over and things need to be different. I'll just keep hurting you, so be careful. So fans have been really curious to find out more about his uh, family members and his sister comes into his life a little bit. You keep saying family, like we're normal, but we're not. Okay, we're messed up. Can't write those guys the same way we did first season, even if we wanted to. They've learned too much. Tracy's definitely more comfortable and more confident as a detective. Well, let's get some prints. We find our golfer, we find our killer. One of the main obstacles that Tracy's facing is custody of her son. Her ex comes back and he starts to question whether she's the best parent. Leo would be better off with me. That's a huge threat. Tracy and Steve Peck, uh, their relationship develops in season five. Tracy's definitely being cautious. Tracy's priorities are Leo. Steve's priorities are Tracy. So it doesn't really <laughs> meet sometimes. So tell us about your job, Gail. I'm a cop. She's going through a bit of a renaissance right now. I think a lot of people wanted me to sort of define like what her sexuality was and I, I don't think you needed to. She just fell in love with somebody and she just happened to be a woman. If you really think about where I've come from, like season one, it's like I've changed the most out of anybody and I, I love playing that. Chris is still really uh, dealing with the ramifications of season four that propels him into a really dark place. Chris, are you all right? There's a lot of drama uh, with uh, Chris, which Dub finds out about, and he has to dish out some tough love. It's like a surrogate brother. They're friends, but they also give it to each other straight. All I've got is this job. And lately, I've been screwing that up, too. There were some things revealed about Chloe that she, A, has a husband. Surprise! In the beginning of season five is kind of dealing with both the sort of shock of the fact that she's married, but also putting that aside, trying to be there for her to, to make sure she gets better. There's smoke with Mia. Things have hurt Dove more than he would like to say. It's really difficult to get back that rookie naivety without a new injection and sort of putting them in brand new roles. We've got Oliver in this new position of power, which is something he never wanted. I'm not a white shirt. I'm a street cop. I'm one of the boys. That's something that I love about myself. Everybody likes that about you. That's why you're my guy. We started off season one saying no amount of training prepares you for life on the street. Well, what happens if someone comes in and what if they think they know what they're doing? Ah, uh, just drop my go bag. A lot of go in your bag. You hitting on me? Even a rookie. Duncan Moore, aka Selfie. He's a character. He loves his job. He loves being a police officer, he has a little bit of a problem either being too excited or going overboard. There's a few issues that him and uh, Andy kind of clash with. We just saw it on the ground right now. Holster your weapon now. No, not until he drops Put the gun it. away Wait. now. Andy is a training officer for the first time. Essentially, I'm a rookie again in this area. We wanted to make Andy's job really difficult and challenge her as much as we possibly could. This new guy kind of doesn't feel like he has anything to prove, really. He kind of feels like he knows it all. He thinks that he's going to be a great cop. I don't know. What's going on? I'm just nervous. I just, my, 
This is my first death notification. Your first... Oh my god. <laughs> You're on his side, even though he's screwing up, which is. I think gonna be really fun to watch. If you don't lean on me, you're gonna fail. Do you understand that? A happily ever after is just an assumption. I love that this season is embracing that. Not exactly a fairy tale. Still kind of beautiful though. The show does a good job of everything. You know, we get the romance, we get the action. Hey, you wanna be in the game? You might get. I think what fans can look forward to is that rookie blue roller coaster. The ups and the downs. This season is no exception. The show is evolving and delving into other areas. He fails, you fail. If you fail, I fail. Mike, I can't fail. The writers are giving us an opportunity to, like, struggle. Andy and Sam and Nick and now Wes and Chloe and everybody. I miss being a rookie. Well, you're not anymore. When we get to the end, it may not look like what you were envisioning or what you were picturing. It doesn't mean you can't have a happy ending. It's not as perfect and it's not wrapped up in a bow and life is not a fairy tale. You know I